What's the crack everyone? Dap Simulations here. Hope you're all keeping well. Welcome to another guide. This time we're looking at the greenhouses. So maybe use the greenhouses from FS19 but they are certainly a bit different. They're not a general income anymore. When I say general income for anyone that doesn't know it's just money that you get from something hourly like the solar panels and things like that so there are three to choose from have a quick look so if we open up the construction menu buildings we go to production tab just in the middle of greenhouses we can see here we have our small greenhouse 3000 to buy medium greenhouse 5000 to buy and the large greenhouse 10,000 to buy select one of them and we place it down no we just go back to that construction menu there is another thing oh yes silo if we hit silo extensions under buildings we can get a 5000 litre supplementary water tank needs to be put next to one of your greenhouses gives it extra water I have one place down further off over there we'll have a look at it towards the end so your greenhouses are down what do we do next and we go if you have the icons turned on it'll be just here in the middle we hit that brings us to production chains so small greenhouse tomatoes 16 pieces of water you get 16 tomatoes 16 pieces of water you get 5 lettuce 16 pieces of water you get 32 strawberries in a medium greenhouse which holds 28 water you get 28 tomatoes 14 lettuce 56 strawberries in the large greenhouse on 64 pieces of water we get 64 tomatoes 32 lettuces and 128 strawberries so for the small greenhouse we we'll start off with tomatoes the medium the pick lettuce and the large we'll go for strawberries and back to tomatoes we'll go for strawberries for the other small greenhouse that's further off so they all say materials missing what do they need? water so get water all we need is a tank like this and a water station don't know where to get a water station construction tab buildings come to the end we get tools not tools sorry container under container all at the end we have water tank next we need something to put the water into so if we go to our tools animals just here with the Joskin Aquatrans which holds water those have the lizard MKS8 MKS32 these will all carry water for you pull up next to the water supply and fill oh I'm going to fill up all these green houses. They're going to take a handy bit. As we can see, pull up to the side with the barrel and just when the unload prompt comes up, just hit it. I 
I'll continue to do these and I will be back with you shortly. So, just filled up the last of the green houses. All growing away nicely now. Strawberries in the last one. The lettuce here. Here we have tomatoes. So, we'll open our menu. So, just under contracts, we have production chains. So, here we can see at the moment the level of the water. The outgoing products we have tomatoes, we have 7 litres made. Status is running in cycles per hour is 2. Medium, 6 litres of lettuce made. And the large, we're on 44 litres of strawberries made in the last small greenhouse. 7 litres of strawberries made. Now one thing I did notice. It does allow us to activate more than one type in each. So for where the lettuce is I can activate tomatoes and strawberries. And so on and so on. So what I might do for the last green nose, we're gonna activate all three and see what happens. This is a bit of a test. No, oh. we'll send the character to sleep until the next morning. We'll see if we can get any products appearing in the spawn boxes just outside them. So I will speak to you again momentarily. It's the following morning and the greenhouses have produced. So in our first one, tomatoes. So per pet 100 litres, 100 litres, 100 litres, all pallets, 100 litres, can they be picked up? They can. and simple no need for a forklift I had brought a forklift over just in case oh look as we move some out there are others already spawning there we have it so for transporting and we'll talk about selling them next as they're so easy to lift take them, stick them on a trailer I've got the little stroopman here can stick it onto these using your straps you can also take a pickup truck take the Bachman trailer put it onto these also so there we have it there's our tomatoes and the second one we have Pallets of lettuce, 14 litres a pallet is it? No, 200 litres a pallet. These can also be picked up, no problem at all. Drop them onto your trailer, hit the straps, you're good to go with your lettuces. The larger greenhouse, what did we have? We had strawberries. Each pallet of strawberries is holding. 150 litres and yes these can be picked up as well like so strap on good to go there we are filling more already last greenhouse this is the one with the mixture so here we have it we have a pellet of strawberries like so Sorry, that first one is a pellet of tomatoes. Pellet of strawberries. Another pellet of tomatoes. A 
more strawberries more strawberries again I'm guessing if they're going to fill up quickly you need to move them around a lot keep taking them off so more can spawn in keep that production going what we'll do next we'll have a look at the production menu So the first house tomatoes, as I look to sum up the greenhouses really, as long as there is water in each greenhouse it will keep producing. As long as you keep moving everything off the spawn area, you keep getting more pellets. When the strawberries are producing at an awful rate, the large greenhouse has over 4,000 litres of strawberries made. Now the mixture is 70 litres of lettuce even though we didn't see any have they spawned yet? no it hasn't spawned any of the lettuce that has made yet although saying that no it won't either the pallet of lettuce is 200 litres so will not spawn a paddle of lettuce until it has reached 200 litre mark so we haven't seen one yet and obviously as we're this greenhouse is producing three different products at the same time it will produce them at a slower rate right selling them where do we bring them to well if we hit our menu and we go up the prices which is just under the weather and above the vehicle overview the maps will obviously vary depending on the one you want I'm on Hoyt Baron so your lettuce, you can sell your lettuce at the Le Jardin de Fermier Farm Shop it's working out at 1400 a litre at the moment your tomatoes same location and your strawberries same location also and you can also sell it at the Fournil de Champ Bakery and there we have it that's everything greenhouse related hope this video helped you out in any way thanks a million for watching and as always stay safe